Hello, hello. Testing, one, two, three. The audio is coming in okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Thinking Scrubs podcast. I'm your host, Raymond, and today we have another Philippine versus episode. Our very own Ellie Bitong is up against Luis Leong from Malaysia. We have Ellie here on the left and Luis here on the right sporting a Republic fleet. So there we're in the early this is scramble the transmissions and right now the two are starting their initial planning phase. Looks like Lewis is done. Ellie's about to start as well. We'll get the roll off for first round initiative in a few minutes. Okay, here we go. Okay, and looks like Lewis will get the first player initiative and timer has started. As the players move do their first round, let's take a look at each of their lists. Starting off with Ellie. We have here his very um fame very meta scum list right now, two fire sprays and he's going with the one that made worlds and this has Honda on Onaka in the fire spray Hondo ha has Savage Opress Proton Bombs, Delayed Fuses, Marauder and Veteran Tail Gunner so next is we have Boba Fett Fearless, Proton Bombs, Contraband Cybernetics, Ahsoka Tano Veteran Tail Gunner and Slave One so it's nice to see that Savage Opress actually might work with the ability of Honda Onako when he gives one a jam. Um, or sorry, when he does a he gives an opponent a action that stresses them out, he could use that. Oh, uh, sorry. When he gives a friend a, fr a stress maneuver, he could give them a focus token instead with his uh, Savage Opera's ability. Sorry, I was confused at how that worked. And then, last but not least, we have Kanan Jarrus with Maul. Enough said, he takes away dice, and Maul gives him more force. Now, looking into Lewis's list, we have another staple for Republic so we have a lat gunner this time it's Sicko the one that came with the Hotshots 2 pack he has dedicated 7 fleet gunner and agile gunner pretty standard loadout for any lat accompanying him is click from SOC and contrail SOC and kickback SOC so all of these have the born for this ability wherein they can share tokens for defense. And lastly, his ace pilot is Anakin Skywalker in the Delta 7 only. He has extreme maneuvers, predator and R7A7, the crit droid. So looking into the movements for the first round, let's see what's been going on. Looks like Hondo made his first movement a turn to the right. Um, Sicko also turned to his right, reinforcing the rear in case Boba wants to go fast. Everyone else seems to be diverging into the small corridor on the top of the board. Seems to me, El, uh, 
Lewis is trying to aim for Hondo or Naka. Well, it would make sense since Hondo is the easier target of the two fire sprays. Okay, we see Anakin do a fine-tuned boost and then barrel roll. Probably also want to get that objective for next turn. So again, the objective here is scramble the transmissions. So let's see if Lewis can make use of his numbers in terms of uh, getting those objective points. Oh, sorry. I just noticed that Ellie hasn't cleared their initiative dice. Let me clear that. Ugh, annoying. Come on. Okay, and we're back to dials. Depending on how Hondo moves next turn, he might be in a world of hurt. Then again, fire sprays do have one turn, so it would be hard to Boba to just jump in and take part in the fight. Will Ellie engage with Hondo, or will he just have Hondo run away and act as bait? The only problem I see here is that uh, only one of Ellie's ships is in position to take any objectives, and that's the bottom one of the board. While uh, Lewis is in position to take two objectives next turn. And it looks like uh, Lewis's sicko did not use his condition, so he will not be making any interesting sickening maneuvers next turn. Anakin Skywalker on the top of the board. Probably going to do a one bank next turn to try and get that objective. Maybe take pot shots at Hondo. It's also good to note that both these fire sprays have veteran tail gunners, so effectively they could be shooting f uh, for atta uh, two attacks each. Okay, crucial last die. I think Ellie is taking his time on Hondo, knowing he's the crucial key to whether or not he wins or loses. Will Hondo run away, or will he turn to face his aggressors? Oh, please take note that uh, Click, interestingly enough, put his target locks on um, Contrail and to Sicko. Maybe he's expecting Sicko to get shot by Boba, but let's see if that pays out. So initiative is rolled and Lewis gets it again. And Hondo jumps in. He's choosing violence. Now he's trying to see if he can make use of his ability. Is, are any of them within range? Uh, so Hondo's ability acts as if he chooses two ships at range uh, let's read it 0 to 3 wow that's a pretty long range so he has to choose uh, two ships that are f that are friendly to each other one of them gets a target uh, coordinate and the other one gets a jam Oh, sorry, uh, no, no, sorry. Um, let's see. 
Okay, they're blocking the card now. I can't see it. <laughs> so one of them can perform an action on your action bar and in the order of your choice, and he gets a calculate. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oof. Okay. Yeah, let's read that card again. I'm kind of confused how that works. I hope I'm not the only one. So he chose two non-huge ships at, at range of three of you that are not friendly to each other. Each chosen ship may perform an action on your action bar even while stressed in the order of your choice, then gain one calculate token. Mm, it's kind of weird. It's kind of giving your opponent actions. Sorry, I was thinking of the Honda Ona Onaka thing. Huh. So it's kind of like uh, the difference with this Hondo is basically um, you give an uh, two non-friendly zero three. So you basically give up one friendly and one non-friendly ship an action. Okay, so you choose. He chose to give Contrail a focus and himself a reinforce. Then he gains a calculate. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. And it gets a stress and calculate. I oh, wonder if that pays off. Oh, and Ellie didn't clear out his dice again. Okay, so that's Hondo. Sicko just moves forward, ridding the stress, and takes a focus. Probably setting up that fire convergence, though fire convergence needs your uh, lat to have the enemy in arc, if I'm not mistaken. So, might not be. Yeah, I have the defender. Okay, so, might not be able to trigger fire convergence this turn. Kanan makes a two. F What's that, though? Is that a one forward, two forward, four forward, and boosts to the left? Okay, just trying to keep Boba and Arc probably for his ability. Click also making a humble two bank. Contrail makes a three bank. Can do the boost and target lock. Oh, for Click's action, he took the objective in the center. And now he's taking a target lock on Hondo. Ooh, kickback bumps into Click. Oh, that was so close. Let's take a look at the... Oh. Uh, yeah, th that w that looked like it was just on the tip of the template, and click takes a damage. Ouch! That's gotta hurt, and does not have any actions this turn. Bobo Fett jumping in. Okay, opting to choose to get the objective. Boba has one focus mod. Sorry, one force mod, I mean. Oh, Anakin just claims maneuver. No fine tune controls. Probably has Hondo already in CLT range, probably. Yep, looks like it. Let's take a look from a different angle. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have shots this turn. First shot coming in from Anakin Skywalker into Hondo. Range 3 in CLT. It's a hit and a focus. 
and that's two focuses because of CLT Lewis thinking of using the force will he and does converts two force into two hits Ooh, all blanks for Honto. Man, he's lucky he took that reinforce. Two shields off of Hondo. Okay, second shot since Lewis has initiative is still with Lewis. Kick back, range three into Hondo. Just one. He can evade this if he rolls only one evade. And does. Contrail now. Range two. What was that? Spent a target lock. Converts one, but still gets the focus. Oh, and chooses not to spend the focus there, probably if just in case he gets a retaliation shot. Okay, Boba Fett now choosing his targets. Let's take a look at the other side of the board. Okay. Looks like he's going into click. Okay, so just two, one hit, one eye uses a force and gets two evades. It's supposed to be four dice. Did I miss something? Or did I just not catch the last dice? Uh, supposed to be four, but okay. I guess it didn't matter. Okay, so Sicko, Kanan have no shots. No, wait, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be click first. I think they jumped the order a bit. Uh, click now shooting into Hondo. Range three. Two dice. Just one. And it will go through. Oh, sorry. Hondo has a calculate, so no damage. Okay, now Hondo gets to shoot. Shooting into Contrail. Hit, hit. Oof. Only rolls one paint. Has to spend that focus to just take one. Okay, now for objective points, Lewis takes two points while Ellie takes one. And that was the second round of our game. Moving clean doing cleanup and moving on to third. Uh, someone just really tell Ellie to clean up the dice tray. Still got an hour left in the game. And Lewis is up two to one. Force gets regened.
Okay, well, we're back to planning phase. So far, it looks like Hondo got out of there mostly unscathed. So it's pretty good. I, I would say it was a good choice for Ellie to take that reinforce. And now Boba looks like he's coming in from the bottom of the board. Where will Hondo go? Since he's initiative one, he could really make a mess of things if he just jumps in the middle. Will Ellie choose to do that? I'm just gonna flip this force really quick. Just cause that's bothering me. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think the only problem I see here with Lewis is that Sicko is so far away. <laughs> uh, it'll take him at least two turns to get into the game. Kanan is also hasn't done anything this game yet, though. And he might also not reach in time for the next round. So two ships from both lists not participating in the fight. Now we have the roll for our initiative. And it looks like Ellie gets it this turn. Let's see if Lewis can react to Ellie's movements. Okay, checking out for system phase stuff. Looks like none is being activated. Hondo just makes a humble bank one to the right. Will he claim that middle objective? Looking at his options, looking at who's coming in. Looks like he's going for a target lock. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, looks like he's doing the ability, giving click an action. Uh, sorry, that's contrail and boba an action. He'll get a calculate. A focus for Contrail. And a focus for Boba Fett. Okay, next we have Sicko. Okay, does a three bank. Not sure if he has Hondo now in this arc. Still looks pretty far. It just takes a focus. Kanan does a forward maneuver. Loses the stress, probably. What was that? Let's take a look. Oh, a two forward. Okay. Loses the stress. And is stress again for boosting. Probably want to keep Boba in that arc. Click now. Does a one turn. Right in front of <laughs> um, Bo uh, Hondo there. Probably in three arcs as well with Kanan. And I'm not and Boba, presumably.
Hmm, I wonder. Is Hondo's ability in action, so that means Boba can't take another focus when he bumps? Let's take a read at that card again. Tim, 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 tim. Oh, okay, it's perform an action, so that means if Boba does bump this turn, he can't do the stress focus again. At least that's how I read it. I'm not sure if you guys have a different interpretation. Oh wait, why did ha oh okay, so that was click who's four and since Ellie got initiative this turn, his Boba moves first. Uh, looks like there'll be a target lock. Oh no, he's not taking a target lock. He took the objective instead. Contrail does a 4k. Stresses himself out. Kickback does a one bank. Uh, can choose to take the objective or take an evade for Born for this. Hmm, tough call. Lewis chooses to take the objective back. And now Anakin, there's a one bank, has Hondo perfectly in CLT. And chooses to take a focus. Oh, he has Predator. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, and we're off to sh the engagement phase. Starting off with the chosen one, Anakin Skywalker. Looks like he's choosing to shoot into. Up, up, up. Oh, ah, Sicko is definitely still out for that um, fire convergence. So no Seven Fleet Gunner or con fire convergence. Looks like a regular range one attack from Anakin Skywalker. Rolls focus, focus blank, has predator. Uh, can reroll the blank. Oof, wow, it's a good day to be a focus. <laughs> Spends the focus. And Hondo gets one evade. So one. Oh, okay, so one hit will get through the shields. Let's see what the crit is. And the crit is disable, disabled power regulator. Huh, that will trigger this turn. Power regulator. Okay, and Ellie gets to shoot first this time. Ellie's Boba will get to shoot this. Shoot first before the other fives, and he's going to shoot. Click. Okay, rolls. Oh my god. That's gonna hurt. But luckily that's Boba Fett. <coughs> so Ellie should check for enemy ships range one. He should have two. He 
it rerolls two dice. And that focus should come in handy now. Oh, and he has fearless. Okay, so converts on all hits. Click now, rolls. Trail mix, one of each. Will he spend that focus? <coughs> thinking about it, thinking about it. He does have another attack coming in. And chooses to spend it. Hmm. I agree with that. Spend it when you can. You never know. And that's two shields off of uh, click there. Now we're checking kickbacks. Has Hondo in range one. that dice oh it looks like hit crit was that natty's man kickback is fierce and hit crit going at the hondo ouch Whew, bit a hot streak for lewis there and we have a second crit that is a wounded pilot. Okay. Contrail rolls hit. Ooh, wow. All paint. Another crit definitely coming in now for Hondo. And Natty evades, just takes the one crit. Somehow Hondo survives. Let's see the crit. It is a blinded pilot. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Ugh, man. Luckily, he has one one force. He will be able to convert one hit later. Click now shooting. Choosing to shoot into Yeah, choosing to shoot into Boba Fett. Kanan Jarrus activates, reducing those dice three dice to two. And just gets one. Okay, re rolling for ability. Gets another focus token, but it's okay. He has a force and he's safe. Oh, wait. He's choosing not to use the force. 
and takes the damage. What's going on here? Is there something about that force that I should know of? Okay, um, that's curious. Why didn't he use the force? Or did he use it earlier? I missed something. Focus, focused, and fearless. Okay, sorry, I missed. Um, I missed Click's attack, but I doubt it did any damage on the Onaka now. Oh my god, full string <laughs> into Click. Oof. Hit crit going into Click. Looks like taking a Derek. Uh, sorry, taking a crit. What's the okay, we get our first iron token on Hondo too. Next turn he'll be ionized. Oh sorry, let's take a look at that crit on click. Mm hmm It's a uh, disabled power regulator too, but it will trigger next turn. Click the shields down and one hit down to one with disabled power regulator. Count trail is one shield down. Oh, wait, I already put the one shield down. Kickback is down one. Hondo is down to two. And scenario points Lewis gets two more. Ellie gets one. Okay, so Click survives, which is, I'm, I'm sure Ellie's not happy about that. At the same time, I think Lewis isn't happy that Hondo is still alive as well. The only difference is, of course, is that Click is only three points, as Hondo is worth much more. One sec, I'm having a hard time clicking this. Ugh. What the? Sorry folks, having some slight technical difficulties clearing the dice tray. Internet, am I right? Okay, thirty seven minutes remaining in this game. Lewis is still up by two, taking control of those two objectives. Hondo is bleeding out down to two, and Click is bleeding out down to one. Everyone else seems pretty healthy. Looks like the lack, uh, the quantity of ships is starting to take its toll, since Hondo and Boba haven't been able to use their VTGs as much. Will this come back to haunt Eileen later on? So we're now in round four. 
Yes. Sorry, round five, I mean. My bad. And looks like Ellie has initiative at this turn. Okay, it looks like some bombs are coming down. First from Hondo, dropping a proton bomb. if anyone else has any system phase stuff. Thinking about Boba Fett's proton bomb, should he put it down? And chooses not to. Okay, Honda Onaka, that's a three bank. And uh, thinking about this action there, I think they're discussing something, something about the ion, not sure. Again, you know, just one sec, guys. I'm just gonna. Okay, looks like Hondo's still triggering his ability. choosing Sicko and Boba. Kind of interesting that Sicko didn't actually change his gunner, uh, change his turret. Is he expel expecting to s yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure where Boba is going to be, but should be in his front right. Oh well. I guess I Lewis knows what he's doing. Okay, so Sicko will take the focus and Boba will take a focus as well. And then Hondo gets a calculate. Next we have Sicko. Okay, just does a one bank, has a focus. Can probably do a target lock. Really sure what else he d could do. He's doing a reinforce. Four? Okay. That's interesting. That's a stress for him. Kanan moving forward to forward I think. Oh sorry, let me that looks like a oh four forward, sorry my bad. So he keeps the stress from the previous round. And click jumps over Hondo to take the last initiative uh t last objective token. Ellie will get to move his five first. Hondo just makes a one forward, takes the objective. Looks like he will have a shot on someone in front and the back. Okay, Contrail hits into Boba, does the stress focus. I appreciate Lewis in, in, and his large tokens. Makes it easier for me to see what's going on. Okay, so what does the. Uh oh, reaching for some dice. Looks like he landed into Contrail.
Anakin Skywalker making a hard right as well. Is he trying to get out of there? <laughs> is he gonna boost? Uh, he can do the fine tuned boost first and try to get an objective. I mean, if he chooses, of course. And again, next turn, he's going to be facing that rock. So, uh, it's a tough call. He's definitely in range 1 of Boba now. Let's take a top view and see if that proton bomb will hit. Uh, okay, it looks like Anakin doesn't seem like he's in range of that proton bomb. Looks like it's Boba, Kickback, and Contrail. But it looks like he only has a shot on Kanan. And it's a two range shot, so maybe not ideal. If he does a barrel roll, he, he probably won't fit the barrel roll. Considering the barrel roll, probably right now. Boost looks safer, but I'm not sure if he can get range 1 and 2 Hondo. Tough choice, tough choice. With only 30 minutes remaining, so it'll probably end around round 5 or 6. Can, Han can Anakin make the right choice? He thinking of some uh, extreme maneuver shenanigans? He can do that. Hmm. Oh yeah, he does have extreme maneuvers, so he could just make a one turn. Uh, yeah, range one. Will that get out of Boba's range one though? That begs the question. I don't know. Considering his options here. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like there's uh, a fine tuned something going on. Oh, it's just a normal fine tuned. No extreme maneuvers there. Definitely has range one on Honda now. And, oh. Okay, and choosing not to get the objective, instead we'll barrel roll um, to, to huh. uh, choosing a position. Okay, <laughs> choosing a position outside of Boba's arc, being sure. Okay, that's nice. Anakin doing you know, Anakin things. Okay, let's see the proton bomb gets three as predicted. It's Boba, Contrail, and Click. And the crit on Kickback is. Let's take a closer look. Oops, sorry, my bad. Lost the camera. Oops. It's damage sensor array. Okay, so that was on Contrail, one shield. Kick back another hull and gets damage sensor array. Boba loses a shield. Okay, looks like shots and looks like fire convergence or seventh fleet gunner will be in play. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Only rolling three and one, so he didn't use the seven fleet gunner here. Oh, fire convergence though. Okay. And can spend two force to convert. Does he do it to ensure the death of Hondo? And he does spend all the force. And Hondo Natty's out, but it's just too much damage. Hondo dies, and Lewis gets seven points from Hondo. Oof, what a big point swing from Lewis there. Boba's shooting next. He can shoot, kick back, sicko, and uh, click there. So probably going to do, okay, a range zero attack first onto kick back. Oh, rolls nothing. And then triggers VTG to shoot that click behind him, range two. And can sp uh, just spends the force. Okay, get full string. Oh, and that's dead click. Click is also taken off the board. Lewis's fives now will shoot. Looks like only Contrail has a shot. Although, I mean, sorry, kick back and shoot into Boba range zero. Okay, choose to shoot into Kanan. Cause, you know, why not? You have just as much odds to hit Kanan as you do Boba. Okay, two hits against should be four, right? Is it obstructed? Oh, sorry. Uh, what is that? Hold on. Let me check on that really quick. Shot into Boba Fett range zero. Hey guys, isn't that obstructed? Shouldn't there be an extra dice? Use a click. Uh, uh, I, I used click before click died. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Never mind. To reduce the range bonus. Cool, cool. Thanks. So your ball is fun. Okay. Okay, thanks for explaining that to me. <laughs> See, I don't know things. So, <laughs> with that blank out, Kanan took two shields. Not a good day for Kanan. Okay. Range zero into Boba. Looks like did no damage. And now Kanan gets a shoot. Obstructed into 
Kickback, Contrail, or Anakin. Looks like it's obstructed for Contrail and Anakin, but not on Kickback. Okay, so it looks like it's into Kickback. Only rolls one paint. Spending his force. Not spending his force. And now it looks like Sicko will get a shot. Shooting into Kanan. And only one paint. Spend his focus for one hit. And we'll spend this force to evade. Okay, that wraps up round five. Sorry, round four. What round are we in? Yeah, that's round four. My bad. So we we're now moving to round five. Oof. Okay, damage check. We have two damage into Boba. Two shields off of Kanan. Uh, Sicko is fresh. Click is dead. Contrails down to one shield. No, my bad. Contrail is shieldless. Uh huh. Contrail. Uh, sorry, where's Contrail? Contrail is shieldless. And again, is full. And damage, they get. Lewis gets two more points, and Ellie gets one. Okay, so we're now 18 minutes left in the game, and Lewis has a commanding lead of 13 to 6. So it's a bit of a hill for Ellie to climb. He needs to take out more ships if he can, and take objectives if he can. Which is going to be a problem since here's uh, where the number of ships come into play. Although Eli Eldo Boba is a monster, he can take out two ships no problem if he gets lucky enough. Can he do it though? Okay. Okay, so looks, looks like discussing something. Not really sure what, but um, they were pointing to the proton bombs. I think. Okay, just checking how many bombs are left. Boba has two left, FYI. So for those who don't know. match. We're looking at possibly two more rounds before this is over. How can the key thing for Ellie is really to take out Contrail and Kickback. Hmm. A bomb should probably take some damage off of him, maybe if he's lucky. Then VTG to take out another 
But then again, Keenan's also in a bad, bad spot as well. And it can just turn around and chase Keenan. And with that, four points plus two. That would bring him up to 19. Uh, oof, yeah, it's, it's really tough. Ellie has to find a way to stop the bleeding. I don't think Kanan is able to take any objective this turn. Boba can, but that would sacrifice his firing efficiency, so definitely Ellie has to take out some ships right away. Okay, so they're grabbing some dice. Time for some road. And don't know what happened there, mostly off the tray, but uh, looks like Ellie got first player. Okay, so Boba is dropping some proton bombs this turn. Correction, a proton bomb, because you can only drop one per turn. Any other system phase? Nope. And now Sicko moves first, since he's the lowest. Oh, okay, so Sicko took a, dis a disabled to weapons is able to regenerate that 7th fleet gunner and what action did he take? did he take an action? that's weird I don't, I don't, oh sorry he was still stressed so no action for him Boba now Looks like he'll bump into a mess of ships. So he did a one forward, he'll stay exactly where he is and take a stress focus. That was Contrail taking a 4 forward, but I don't know if that gets him out of the Proton Bomb. It seems pretty close. So tricky. Kickback looks safe right now. What should kickback do? He definitely won't be shooting anyone this turn. Should he just take a target lock on Boba to save it for next turn? Or he could do an evade, so yeah, trigger the born for this. Okay, Anakin does a 5k. Checking his ability if he has anyone in bullseye. Does not. Oh, okay. It looks like click. No, sorry. It looks like Contrail does get one crit. And it's a direct hit. Oof. Luckily, he's SOC. Oh, sorry, no, this. 
No, he's dead. <laughs> My bad. He only had two hull. He got the. He has an extra shield, but uh, not extra hull. Okay, so let's see. The bomb doing some work for Ellie there, taking out one ship. And that brings the score up to nine versus thirteen. Right, how many? How many points? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like I said. Ellie needs to start doing more damage and okay so it looks like a fire convergence there for two hits into Boba blanks out but has it probably has rerolls oh no sorry <laughs> shooting into Kanan oh my god Sorry, I missed that. Kanan, that's the second blank out of the game. It's just not his day. Okay, looks like Boba only has one um, enemy in his arc, and it's Sicko. So I think they were checking Born for this. I'm not sure, but maybe. Okay, so Boba Natties. And so the Sicko. So so that's one crit into Sicko. And let's check out the crit. Done pilot. Stun pilot. Okay, looks like Kanan is shooting next, shooting into. Anakin evaded with the use of the force now we're back to dials so two more points again for Lewis and another point for Ellie So Ellie, sorry, Lewis still up by five with seven minutes to go. Most likely this will be the last round unless they play fast. If somehow um, Ellie is able to get the top objective and keep the middle objective and take out kickback 12 15 he could take it in two turns but he has to hurry time is not on Ellie's side here And on um, 
loses side, I think only Sicko or Anakin has any chance of getting the middle objective. So there is a chance if, and you know, Sicko is pretty flimsy. Ellie keeps rolling like he did. He could take Sicko out in two turns. Right now into the sixth round of this game. I really doubt we'll have another, but let's see if they play fast. Oh, sorry, I forgot to update that Kanan's down to one. Okay, and Lewis is ready. Ellie's still in the planning phase. Four minutes left. This could be this the last round. Looks like Ellie gets initiative again. Okay, looks like he's dropping his last proton bomb. Now Sicko will move first. Uh, looks like Sicko still has to disable on him, so he must have uh, regenerated that seven feet gunner. Okay, he bumps into Boba. Will he take a stress focus? No, wait, sorry. He's already stressed, so he cannot take a stress focus. Puts a sickening maneuver token on him, so next turn he can do a key turn or a side sloop. Kane and Jarrus running for the hills. Will he reach that objective? That is the question. Does he reach for it? Only two minutes left, Ellie. Better make up your mind. and he chooses to focus. Or may, what, what's going on? Oh, what happened there? No, wait, he chooses to Okay, so he chose to check get the objective instead. Sorry, my bad. And 
and looks like Bobo will again um, bump and stress focus. Kick back and uh, does a hard two and it's in looks like he's in range of Boba not sure if he'll what he'll do okay just takes a focus Anakin zooms in just just a fine tunes boost Okay, going for Kane and Jarrus there. And that's a timer. Time's up. So, let's see. And he <laughs> and Ellie grabs the last objective. Uh, sorry, Lewis grabs her last objective in the middle. Seventeen. So the score now is seventeen eleven with objectives. If Boba can, harder for Boba to win. He needs six points, so he needs to kill two ships. I don't know if that's possible, but stranger things have happened. Okay, so fire convergence turns into crit crit. Can Kanan block? Okay, so some evades finally for Kanan. Boba Fett shooting now. Kickback's not in arc, so he can only shoot Sicko. And since he's range zero, he can't modify it. Wow. That's Boba Fett. <laughs> Oof. And another hit hit crit going into Sicko. And what's the crit? It's disabled power regulator. Ooh, that's not going to help Ellie's cause. Uh, at this point, it's very unlikely for Ellie to kill. Ellie to kill um, Seiko. Did I say unlikely? It's impossible. And gets another one. Wounded pilot. That's time. So the score is now 11 17 with Ellie in the lead. Let's see what the guys have to say. Hey guys! Hey.
Hey, buddy. How's it going? So, tough match there, Ellie. Yeah. yeah. So, what you, where do you think you went wrong, Ellie? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, when I did the one turn with Honda on the uh, second turn. You um, think I you should have run away with Honda? I, yeah, I could have gone four straight. Uh, I could have still had a shot. Um, and only one chip was uh, facing Boba. So I could have like, it could have been like a uh, one free turn for me, right? Although I had, I would have had to take a few turns with Honda to get back into the fight. I think turning turning into the to the middle was a bit greedy. Um, yeah, because I, I took like three damage um, the first turn, and then I only took one damage from. Uh, I took only I only did one damage into a three point. Tip, so I don't think it was worth it. And how about you, Lewis? What do you think you did right this game? What I did right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I definitely know exactly what I did wrong. Uh, those, those stick out in my head. But um, I think patching Hondo, like my like Ellie said, he turned Hondo in and I was able to make the most of it. I think as soon as he laid... So I put Sicker down here immediately. Um, at the start, right? Sorry. So, so Hondo was here and I put, put Sicker here. And once Kanan went down, then I was like, okay, everyone's coming on this side because we can try and catch um, catch Hondo because he split up his forces. I don't know if it might have been better for you to start sort of both of them together. Um, then you make sure you get the engagement you want as opposed to splitting them up, which let me um, try and catch you. Um, and that, that worked out well, quite well for me. So yeah, actually, uh, I saw that I saw that you were going after Hondo there, so they were all converging on top. Weren't you afraid that Boba would just snipe you from the back? Mm, I was quite comfortable that there was this big lane here for me to turn into. Um, so I I didn't think Hondo would accept the joust. I expected Hondo to turn and run, right? Um, so my plan was always to come in through through these two rocks in, in between here, maybe with Anakin around the outside, but because Honda's got bombs, um, I said better to just come in through here, which I expected Boba to either come in through here, which he did, or to come around here if he's trying to chase my lat and come around the long way around. Um, so I, I wasn't too worried. I kind of figured if we can catch Hondo, great. If not, then we'll just meet them in the middle somewhere over here. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. And yeah, I actually saw that um, you bumped with kickback there. <laughs> that was pretty close. And you... Yeah, that was a bit careless. I, I, I should have known. I mean, normally my setup is a bit more spaced out, but I think because I wanted Click to come through here and then have the option either go this way or this way, depending on where Bobo was going to go, um, that kind of threw me off. So. <laughs> I was looking at it thinking, a two bank this way and a two bank this way, that's fine, right? But uh, obviously not. Yeah. And, and sort I mean, of... that, that ended up costing me to, it cost me a hull on kickback because he bumped and a shield on control because I didn't have the evade to pass from from kickback, which is what, what he's there for. Yeah. Kick, to be honest, I think that kind of kept kick, kickback out of the game for most of it. Right, it was mostly the other ships that did the heavy lifting. Well, Anakin did most of the heavy lifting there with his damage. Yeah, Anakin is there to do the the big punches, especially once a lat came into play. Like the first couple of turns, the lat wasn't doing anything, um, and then once the lat came in, and Anakin's like, "Yep, five dice." Obviously, Kanan makes it four, um, but but Anakin can do a lot of work once once I get the lat support. Mm. Um, but I think actually, really interesting, I, I made two big mistakes there. Obviously, kickback mistake was one. The other two, which I realized after I did it, is, is actually really interesting because it's um, a win condition and game management question, um, which was when Contra was here and he got killed by the bomb, right? Mm -hmm. um, I tried to do the full forward, which is white, uh, while stressed, to try and escape the bomb. But actually, what I should have done was just done a three forward blue, claim the objective. Um, no, no, and then just just 
let it be. Oh, okay. right. Right. Um, because my plan was to come full forward and then come round, come round these rocks here, and chase Kanan. But actually, three forward here, clear the stress, claim the objective, gives me three objectives to zero. Um, in exchange for con and control is only worth three points. So if I trade control for a turn of getting three objectives versus zero, that's almost worth it. Um, and he. He was, if he eats a bomb, he needed a direct hit to die, which he got the direct hit to die. Hmm. Yeah, so it was only a, a whatever small chance that he died. Um, so actually, that would have been the smart game management thing to do, is claim the objective, sacrifice Contrail, and be three objectives up to zero. Um, and the second one is the opposite. Over here, there's a very last turn, Anakin. Um, Kanan's on one health. If Anakin takes a focus, then he's got double mods, three dies into Kanan. Kanan's only got two greens. I should be able to kill him. Um, and as it turns out, my rolls, yeah, if I'd taken a focus, I would have got three hits and killed Kanan. But instead of that, I traded for one objective. <laughs> I should have killed Kanan, taken the one, and that would have got me to 20 points um, yeah. instead of of um, conservatively going for for the for the objective, which I don't need anymore. Yeah, I really yeah, felt so... bad for Kanan the whole game. He was rolling blanks <laughs> for the first two. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> he rolled like um, three consecutive double blanks or something. Yeah, I know. It was like so mean, especially Anakin, like range three, two dice attack because it's reduced. I was like, oh, pop, pop shot. Um, and still managed to get down. So, okay, this is for Kanan. But we don't feel sorry for Kanan. Kanan's mean. How about you, Ellie? What did you think your. Thing you what's the thing you would have changed there in the middle part when you lost Hondo? I think... Um Um I think I could have boot instead. I don't know if that uh, I was hoping uh for a big turn if Hondo survived drop uh two bombs instead of one. Um, cause I I think I caught a couple two ships with the bombs here mm -hmm. and uh, they were facing this way I definitely could have because um, the next turn I dropped another bomb using Boba and I think I caught a ship so definitely something would have I mean something would have gotten hurt uh, yeah definitely the, with the bombs and even if it didn't get the direct hit I mean that would have assured the kill on click um and then yeah just run away with hondo so um, that could have been a big turn for me uh if things would get, went my way because i because he had no ships um in position to chase um after that turn right because um i can do like a three turn and a three turn boost or something and ended up here um so I would have saved seven points. Um, yeah, seven points, and you know, seventeen to eleven, and would have gone uh, and done. Yeah. yeah, definitely that. Uh, but yeah, still, uh, it was still a pretty exciting game there, and I thought Ellie had the chance to catch up when you killed Click. But I think the key there was you had to take out Sicko, and he was a very tough nut to crack. Although you were rolling yeah. nat nats against him. <laughs> he, was, he, he was doing I, pretty well at him. All, all my zero shots were good, and all the other shots with mods. Uh, I mean, my green died really bad. Um, turned out my range zero shots were, be were much better than the normal one. Yeah, when you got hit, hit crit out of <laughs> out of a range zero and four stickers, like, can I can I roll some paint so I can at least borrow the focus from from kickback? No, <laughs> no, no, blanks, and then blank from Kanan from another hit crit. I was like, oh man, Sicko might might die a bit faster than I thought he would. But yeah, also Cause... it was pretty lucky that uh, Ellie got that blinded pilot on the fir on that hit into click right. Because oh was it he rolled no no sorry he rolled three hits and uh I and used his force that was pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty lucky too yeah <laughs> but again so again thanks guys for uh 
joining the stream and uh, participating in this casual game. So hopefully we'll see each other again in another session like this, or maybe even in XCC. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for um, thanks for having me for the on. Thanks for the game, Ellie. And Thank um, you, yeah, we'll try and set up another one. Maybe see we'll play with the rest of the Malaysian team. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. If, I'll see if they want to get on. Yeah, cool, cool. Thanks again, Lewis. Thanks, Ellie. Bye.